flame on max. I'm a chicken going to the ain't nothing that going to the ain't gonna keep the flame on max. I'm a chicken going to the ain't nothing that going to the ain't gonna keep the flame on max. I'm a chicken going to the ain't nothing that going to the ain't gonna keep the flame on max. Still can't believe this. You, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that last move. How are you going to bounce the ball, put in your shirt, spin around, and then make a half court shot? But dude, you're supposed to be good at sports. How do we lose to a baker and a tech nerd? No offense. No offense, Tookin. I mean, according to my nerd brain, y'all lost by about, I don't know, 150%. Just saying. Boom. You're not that. Bro, I know for a fact you didn't play in high school. That's not true. You weren't on the basketball team. Now that's true. Doesn't mean I didn't play though. I just didn't want to play with you and your henchmen. Henchmen? Really, Marcus? What am I, some 007 villain? Yes! Man, if I could play that well, I would've gotten a scholarship. Then you should've played with me. Bro, you can play. It wouldn't have mattered. What can I say? I was a stubborn kid. Was? <laughs> Old habits die hard. And she had the nerve to call out of rounds twice. That girl is something else. I know, right? Oh, hey, boys. How was the game? It was fun. Me and Justin won. Ah, they cheated. Y'all yeah, sound salty. Like a pretzel. All twisted up. Like your ankles on the court. <laughs> so, uh, who you say cheated? Because I know my man don't cheat. You better watch the next words that come out of your mouth, because I'm a doctor. And I know what all your soft spots are. So what was said was, um, was we, we got heated and overheated. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's better. Speaking of which, where is Justin? You just missed him. He said he had to go to the shop and beg something. Oh, okay. Well, Chris sent me for his bag. So, Chris oh, is there it is. with y'all out in class? Distance learning. You know, distance from his learning. <laughs> what are y'all up to? Book club. Mm -hmm. So if you see Justin before I do, tell him I went to brunch. Wait, didn't you just say book club? Yeah, book club. Clean out your ears, boy. Yup, yup. Book club, 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 book like we're gonna have to order more 16 gauge hypodermic needles, bed rollers, and I will add the pins that you asked for Thank on the you. next order. Where's Karan this morning? Oh, he should be in Shirley. I believe he said he had some audition thing, rehearsals, I don't know. I need to leave early. I need to come in late. My pen ran out of ink. Can I borrow yours? That was my favorite pen. Hope you're great. Oh, trying to up this knee. Don't scare me like that. Oh, you know my heart bro is broken as it is. It's just not the same. Is this how you treat every patient? If you run up, you get sprayed down. Where's Alex? Where's my pen? Alex. I'm here. I'm here. What is going on? I'm trying to spray him down, people. Not people, just you. How'd your audition thing go? Rehearsals are good, but can we talk about the unnecessary showers? I will talk to China. Don't worry about that. But right now, I need to talk to you. What's up? Steve quit. Oh, damn. And I know you're busy, Kavan, but I'm going to need you to start picking up more hours around the office and start being on time. I'm trying. I just keep getting caught Steve up. quit? Damn, he was fine. <laughs> I wish Chris was here. Steve quit. Chris is not here. You're here, I'm here, and she's here. Now that we're all caught up, you have patience to see, and you have patience rooms to sanitize. Let's go!
I don't know. I can't choose just one. Just if it's one thing about the environment, you have one to choose. Mm -hmm. But there's so many things. There's fracking and ocean dumping and the death of our pollinators and and all of the above. Cool. All of the above. You're joking. <laughs> I think these are incredible. Not all bees. Yes, all bees. Without bees, there would be no pollination. No pollination, there's no plant life. No plant life, there's no animals. We are animals. All bees are good for you. Not if they sing. Leave them alone, they leave you alone. That was not my experience. There I was, minding my own business. A nice spring day, drinking some lemonade, and I got stung right on the leg pit. What the hell is a leg pit? You know the leg pit. The, the back of your leg, right here, behind your knee. The popliteal fossa. The, the popsicle fossa? <laughs> Who told you it was a leg pit? My dad. He then told me to drink some water and drive on. Josh helped me put the stinger out. Tweezers hurt. That's understandable. You should never pull out a bee sting. You should flick it out. Flick it? Yeah, with like a card or something. It was in a cereal book I read once. Hmm. I have to go. I'm all ready. I know, I'm sorry, but you know how it is. More calls, you gotta go. Oh, do I? Alright, I'll see you soon. Okay? See you soon. Very juicy. <laughs> you never to tell me where you're interning at. I guess that's very nice date. Bye. I know the places you have been. So today, I am time traveling. So, whose bright idea was it to put you in charge of children after almost murdering someone? First of all, it was adultery and self-defense. The man pushed himself out of a window. And you expect people to believe that? I do. Really? Yes. Plus, I'm trying to do a good deed for my family and the community. It's a double good deed, man. Plus, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. The kids love me. So you put a delinquent in charge of delinquents. Sometimes it takes one to know one. Yeah, these little shitheads are going to be just... Whoa, 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 you can't call these kids shitheads, man. Why not? Are you being for real right now? It's called constructive criticism. It's called a lawsuit waiting to happen. You can't cuss at the kids, man. Well, my dad used to call me shithead all the time, and look how I turned out. I'm communicating with them in a way they understand. You really don't call them shitheads, do you? Only when I'm teaching. Hey, Josh, I know I'm not supposed to use that language. Could you tell me one more time, what is the origin of the word? And I'll stop using it, I swear. It was something my dad used to say, that, the, that in the Navy they had to ship perishables high on a shelf in case of flooding. I guess shit stands for ship high in transit. Because if it was on the floor, the sailors would yell out, Hey, what's that smell? And that was the shit. Mr. Fields! Shit. How many times do I have to discuss your language choices with you? You are a teacher, a guide, an example. What Freud would call an ego ideal for young minds. Yeah, Josh, it's children first, not ego first. Thank you, Anthony. Yes, thank you, Anthony. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Now, Josh. I will not tolerate any more of that language from you. If I hear it one more time, there will be disciplinary measures. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good. Now, I'd like you guys to meet Marie Steller. She's going to be our new music department instructor. Hi, everyone. I'll be teaching singing and organizing a musical theater performance for the end of spring semester. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yes, it does. But I need one of you to help me out today. I need someone to show her around campus, show her the ropes and how things are done here. I mean, I can. I, I have some free time right now. <laughs> um, Marcus, would you mind helping me out today, please? I would love to, but I got class in 10 minutes. I mean, I have a free period. <clears throat> Anthony, um, are you busy? I am on break until 10 a.m. Oh, great. So that means you have a few... I am on break until 10 a.m. Okay, last and certainly least, but 
definitely capable. Josh here is going to show you around campus today. Yes, it'll be my pleasure. No problem. Great, and I do not want to hear your potty mouth in the halls. You got that, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Where did you learn that origin? It was something my dad told me when I was younger. Have you ever heard the word skeeta? It sounds like an ankle biter dog breed. <laughs> it's the etymology of the word shit. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. Well, first it's a Norse word for the vulgar way to say to shit. Hmm. <laughs> what is entomology? Mm-mm. Come on! Is he working? There's a first time for everything. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> I bet you wish you were. You should really do stand up. Maybe one day. But first, have you seen my stapler? Throw it away. Wait, you threw my stapler away? That's what you told me to do. No, I didn't. When was this? Where was I? This morning. You said, come on, throw out the stapler. No, I said, come on, make sure you change the paper roll. Oh, is that what you said? I guess I misheard you. You misheard me. You misheard me, huh? We should get that. Okay. You misheard me, okay. Oh, you misheard me. Hello, you've reached the Johnson Clinic. How may I be of assistance today? Excellent reception skills. You can get these hands. Oh, no, no, ma'am. No, not you. No, I need this job. I'm sorry. No. Ooh, if you file a complaint, my name is Kavar. Yes. Yes, Kavan, and this is the Johnson Clinic. Perfect. Hey, Kavan, can you take my trash out? It's a mess. I just did. There's nothing in it. Oh, really? There is now. Can you take that out? Thanks. Going on break. That was easier. No, that's not it. That was easy. She spilled the beans quickly. Oh. This has to stop. Interesting wardrobe change. Oh, what? The shorts? <laughs> yeah, I can't move around real good inside uh, dress pants or jeans, so on uh, days I got outside sports, I like to wear something a little bit more comfy. Hmm, I have to try it myself. You should. You should match. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> but don't back out on me when I make them look better than you do. Oh, is that a challenge? I can do a runway in these. Well, <laughs> that's, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You good? Oh, I'm good. But did you know that bed bugs rip out each other's stomachs? Bees each other's stingers. And water striders try to drown each other. What is going on? It's mating season. What about the mantis religiosa? The what? The praying mantis, man. The holy praying mantis. They eat their mate. Head first. <laughs> While they're still alive. Why are you bugging, man? <sighs> Are you the ecology or biology teacher? No, but I'd like to think I could be. No, well, he's the coach for the school next door. Oh, I almost got hired over there. Then someone told me those kids would eat me alive. Mm. It's a buggy eat bug world out there, literally. Okay, do you want to show me um, the yeah, kitchen? Yeah, yeah, let's so show you the kitchen. Yeah. Step one complete. <coughs> ah! Ah! 
You ready? As ready as I can be. Just gave me the name of a place, Dame, and I figured it out. Come on. Yes? I need you to clean the front desk. What? Why can't you do it? The cleaner's right here. And I'm about to go to lunch. First, it's not my responsibility, and second, because I have to walk all the way up those stairs to staple these papers in the back because someone thought it'd be a good idea to throw away my stapler. I'm trying to come on. Why are you always on my back? Why don't you have Can common sense? Like it? What? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's about to be. You all are going to leave her. We have no common sense. But I already talked to Alex about it. You guys are That's still out here problem. arguing? But you shouldn't have tried to leave three minutes early. Hello? You guys are still arguing. <sighs> Enough! You guys have been at each other's throats for far too long. And I'd hope that two adults would be able to figure it out by now. So explain yourselves. I'm trying to go to rehearsal and she wants me to clean this desk. And the cleaner's literally right here. China, you knew that he had to leave during lunch. What is going on? And for weeks he's been missing shifts, showing up late, talking about the rah, rah, rah. Oh wait, I forgot. Guess what? He forgot that he has responsibilities here, too. You know this is his dream. Yeah, and this is his job. I mean, she has a point, Kavon. You need to be more aware of what's going on around here. Oh, and my stapler? I swear I'm trying. I know, I know, Kavon. And I wish you all the best. I really do. But you got a job. And you need to perform your job and your duties until you can create your own path. You're right. Right. Are you kidding me? I'll be more aware of my actions and how they affect you. I'm sorry. Well, I guess since you said I'm right, it's okay. And I can cut you a little slack. But you need to start taking more responsibility. Now, you know I saw that trash can earlier. I never said I wasn't part of the problem. I can see my faults. I guess I can cut them a little more slack. <clears throat> For now. All right, that's good enough. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Going back in? Pray for me. Why do we want to choose what we eat? We never pick what we eat. I'm not good at food options. A burger? We had all the burgers last week. There are no more burgers left in the world. <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, I'll sign for that. Alright, so what about shawarma? As long as I can shawarm up against you. <laughs> you are such a doof. I know, that's why you like me. One of the many reasons. Okay, so shawarma Friday night. I'll see you then. I have new place files to go over. Alright, get to work. I'll talk to you later. Kisses. <laughs> Kisses. I hope this letter finds you in high spirits. As I write this, I find my spirits soar with the possibility. As you can see in the evidence presented, you are dating the enemy. Now currently there is a case that is under review against the state. If that case were to, oh, I don't know, happen to disappear, then these pictures could also disappear and all their copies. If you decide to continue your litigation, I would be forced to release these images to your strict military-loving father, seeing as you don't want him to know your secret. <laughs> <laughs>